Oh YouTube, what is really good? My name is Vivid Color Coach of the South Texas Stabilize, and this is gonna be week six of the APA. Now, spoiler alert, um, I'm playing this battle bef or after, rather, I played my week seven. So I'm not gonna spoil week seven, but it's gonna go up on its normal day, which is Saturday. Um, this battle is gonna go up in the middle of the week. If it's late, I think I said Oh YouTube, what is really good? My name is Vivid Color Coach of the South Texas Stabilize, and this is gonna be your week six battle for the APA season five, the multi draft league. Um, this battle's late, you know that, because it didn't go up on Saturday. I was at PAX, I was very busy. I actually have already played week seven. I did that one yesterday, I'm doing this one today. I'm probably gonna post this one tomorrow on a Wednesday. Um, you know, so if you don't see this battle because it didn't come out during the normal time, I hope you're coming back to watch it uh, after watching week seven. So so there you go. Also, our, our opponent this week is Leo, aka Six Foot Hacks, coach of the Durham Juddagons. Leo's really good. I, I thought I had a, a very winning record over him when I was talking to some friends uh, in sort of a Discord chat the other day. I, I don't think that's true. I think we're either even or he's up on me. Or if I am up on him, it's only by like one game. So I'm not as winning against Leo as I thought I was, which is super unfortunate. Um, anyways, his team is... Halucho, Weavile, Nitto Queen, which is a terror, Metagross, Alomomola, Shaman, Noivern, Tauros, Blaziken, Porygon Z. I thought it was Porygon 2. That makes a big difference. And Mega Gardevoir. So that's what he has access to. Uh, the entire team is pretty terrifying. Nitto Queen, in general, I think can kill my entire team, basically. So this is what we are bringing this week. We're bringing a Water Silvali. The first time I've ever brought sort of like a, a strange, like, I don't know, not. I feel like I normally do like flying for like flying uh, spam or ghost to spin block something like that Sometimes steel because steel types nice fairy too. Uh, this is the first time I ever brought water I was really considering electric to check Kalucha, but the water variant checks Nitto Queen better um, Than the electric version checks Halucha. so and I also have other things that can put Halucha in its place. So anyways um, So this is Silvali water. I'm gonna be in front of the moves a little bit But I'll you know I'll point to him and then we'll we'll go from there. It's ice beam Also, let me know if you enjoy me going over the team in this way uh, This is the first time I've done this this league if you really enjoy this Let me know in the comments down below leave a like it would mean the most to me I won't do this if people don't enjoy it so, uh, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Parting Shot, Defog, very specially defensive, can take hits from the Nodo Queen pretty easily. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Heliolisk, which is, uh, Zap Plate, Dry Skin, hopefully, you know, being able to switch in on some of those Alola Momola Scalds, which you probably won't do, I'll probably just click Toxic. But, uh, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Surf, and Glare. Glare just hitting any of the switch ins. Surf for the Nodo Queen, um, I... I also shout out to my front office. I have a front office now, which by the way, if you still want to join, let me know. I can get you a link to that. It would be a massive help to me. And if you just want to help people build teams, I want to extend it to where we can help each other build teams or it's not just all about me. So if that is something that interests you, let me know. Um, I thought about personally putting a signal beam or a dark pulse on this. I think signal beam, right? Something to hit the Weavile harder and also something to hit the Shaman harder. Uh, so signal beam was the the play, but it's it's really not worth it um, I have better checks the shaman anyways. This thing is really just fast It gives me momentum and glare is gonna be great uh, if we get to glare anything on a switch in and then we have Spectrum the I don't think I said the name so far So I named my uh, I named my Savali's Annihilation because I watched the movie Annihilation and that movie is really trippy but it's also sort of about Everything kind of converging together and sort of like a mishmash of genealogy and genetics and this kind of weird parasite I don't know. It's a really good movie. It's hard to explain, but that's why I named my Savali's Annihilation um, the Heliolisk is Illuminati cause he has like a little Illuminati triangle I think or maybe that's Helioptile has a little Illuminati triangle and I'm just carrying it over It's definitely Helioptile spectrum yeah, because this thing, I don't know, it's kind of like reminiscent of prisms. It's like the prism Pokemon. Prisms create like a spectrum of light, whatever. Calm Mind, Photon Geyser, Heat Wave, Fiery MZ, Moonlight. Uh, we're really just trying to set up a couple Calm Minds and blast holes in the team. I don't think this thing can ever end the game, realistically, but it is also a decent check to Weavile. Fun fact. Um, the Swords Dance, Bullet Punch, Knock Off, Roost Scissor. I'm a big fan of this set. Uh, I think it is going to be very fantastic. It does a lot of work to a lot of his team So I'm looking forward to sort of like bullet punching down all his faster threats like most of his threats that are faster Get super nugged by bullet punch. So I'm excited about that 
Uh, the Deonce's here to set up Stealth Rocks. Pressure, sort of the Nitto Queen a little bit. I'm assuming we can take one Earth Power, maybe? No, this is a, this is a physically defensive variant, so we probably can't take an Earth Power, actually. Um, but we can definitely take physical hits. So I, I'm glad I thought about that before I just said that. Um, this will also do pretty good pretty good damage to anything on his team. Like, Deontay is a pretty neat Pokemon, honestly. I'm surprised I've never drafted it. It's super bulky, but it also has really high attacking stats. Um, so the Earth Power, if I'm predicting like a Nidoqueen Queen or a Metagross switch in, uh, Moonblast just absolutely decimates Weavile and Hawlucha. I'm really excited to use this thing. I think it's going to be good, hopefully. And then we also have Light. Uh, also, I named this thing Vitreous because that is the grade of luster that Rose Quartz has. That's just something I looked up. Don't even ask me what that means. I have zero clues, so don't ask. And then Light, I named this after my cat. I have a white cat. His name's Light. He has little orange accents on his face, so, you know, it kind of fits. Um, assault Vest, Intimidate, obviously, U-Turn, Knockoff, Flare Blitz, and Drain Punch. So, this is the squad. I'm sure Leo is online by now. I messaged him a little bit ago and said I was ready. If you... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. If you enjoyed me going over the team so you have an idea of what I'm using, please let me know. I probably won't do it if people don't enjoy it. If you just think it takes up time and you'd rather just jump into the battles, let me know. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's get connected with Leo, and then I will see you when we are there. Alright, so we're connected to Leo. Oh, I forgot to change the music again. I, this has been a problematic... Oh no, I still have a chance. Alright. I would like to pick... Let me see. Let's do... Enter the Ultra Beast. I don't know. I don't... I really like the, uh, I really like the Ultra Recon Squad music, and I like the Team Skull music. Um, but I should branch out. Last time, and by last time I mean week seven, which you'll see next week. I just forgot to pick the music. Okay, so he actually brings a Mega Gardevoir, which is surprising. Tauros, Weavile. I knew the Nero Queen was coming. The Alo seemed pretty, pretty reasonable. Metagross. All right. So I think in this instance, I probably always lead. Uh, in my opinion, I probably always lead the uh, cat, the Incineroar. It seems pretty good here as a lead. Uh, it's really bad against Nitto Queen, I guess. Do I die to a Earth Power? I live one. <laughs> I live a singular Earth Power. I can knock off whatever its item is and chunk for damage. Alright, I'm about it. It seems like the best lead. His rocker is probably either the Nitto Queen or the Metagross. Nia Jax, what is this? Okay. So, I think I'm actually just going to stay in and go for the knockoff here. Like, we're pretty bulky. We can live most hits here. Um, I, I think he'll probably just over-predict and set up rocks. If he goes for the Earth Power, that's also fine. Uh, yeah, so he just sets up rocks. So, we're going to get a pretty big hit off right now and figure out what kind of set this is. We'll see if we knock off a Life Orb or a uh, Left Black Sludge. So, definitely a more defensive set, for sure, for sure. Um, but still speedy enough to get that hit in. So now we can go out. Um, into who, though, is the question. If he is less... Let's see. Let's run this as, like, a, a defensive variant. Just, like, the stock one and see if that checks out. Um, so my knockoff would have done... Yeah, that looks about right. So we'll say he has a reasonable amount of defense, and Earth Power will do like 31%. I can actually stay in. Uh, or I can go for a U-turn here. That way I don't have to take a hit. Yeah, okay, so this should do about 31 to 38%. Yeah, so it puts me at 122. Alright, I think we have his set pretty much figured out. Yeah, it did 32%. Um, there was really nothing else to click here. Getting rid of this thing early would be pretty clutch, not gonna lie. Um, if he is less invested in his special attack, which it looks like he is, I don't even really think that, uh... I think we just go for a defog here. We can go for a defog, we can go for the ice beam. Just kinda depends. He also has to, I think he has to predict a switch here. Alright, I have to predict a switch here, rather. Um, where's my Savali at? Ice Beam does about 38% to this thing. So, it puts it in range, for sure. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the Defog. We definitely won't outspeed if he decides to stay in. But, just, yeah, okay. 
checks out. What is your switch in here? This thing. Interesting. I guess maybe he just wants to, uh... Maybe he just wants the toxic? Could... would be my guess here. Um, let's see how much... Olo Mamola. I know that you're, like, not great specially. So, let's just go for the Thunderbolt and gauge damage and see what he's gonna do. I'm predicting a toxic here. 100% am predicting toxic. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna be relevant. Okay, it's very relevant. Damn, Leo told me in an interview once that his name is Six Foot Hacks because he always gets hacked. He told me it's because he always gets hacked. And now I see that that is coming to fruition. If he gets paralyzed this turn, I'm gonna feel really, really bad. Okay, so he gets the wish off. Um, the question is, what do I do here? Like, I can go, I, I think the uh, real answer is probably just switch out into, probably switch out into my actual electric type. And sort of like force a play here. He just withdraws. Oh, he's gonna go out into the Nido Queen. Yep, that was a good play. Dang. So, I have to just switch. This is unfortunate. I have to just go back out into my light here. I just don't have another play. To be super duper honest, I just don't have another play. Which is fine. All right, let's see how much this does. It shouldn't be much. Yeah, all right, cool. So I think instead of trying to get damage off on this thing, I'm actually just gonna click Parting Shot here. I'm assuming he just gets up Stealth Rocks, maybe? He doesn't know how fast we are, but he knows we don't have a lot of attack investment or special attack investment from the damage on the Olomomola. The Olomomola is almost dead, which is good. Getting rid of that thing early would be good. It's unfortunate that we let this thing get back up to full. Oh, I could have just clicked Ice Beam there. Had I clicked Ice Beam there, we would have been so good. It would have been like a god read, though. I should have made the read. I should have made the read. All right, so we do actually outspeed this thing. Um, I'm predict kind of predicting rocks here. Uh, it could be anything, really. I think I would like to go out into my Necrozma here and maybe start setting up Calm Minds. So this shouldn't do much to me at all. Yeah. All right, so I think I would like to just start setting up Calm Minds here. Right? Like, what is your switch in? I, let me take a picture of your team. Show the Tauros. All right. So he has the Tauros in the back, which I don't think I'm scared of. He has the Metagross, which is fine. Uh, yeah, let's just go for a Calm Mine. Just set one up. Metagross? Yeah. All right, so let's look at a Metagross set really quickly. Let's say he is an offensive set um, to my Necrozma. Meteor Mash will do a reasonable amount. Z Heat Wave will kill for sure. Do we outspeed? Uh, maybe? I'm just gonna Z Heat Wave here. I'm gonna click the Z Heat Wave, we're gonna go to town. If he's max speed, he'll probably outspeed. Uh, I can't fathom him being max speed though. He's like, gotta be defensive, right? Like a bulkier variant? I mean, maybe he's max speed. I don't think his attacks are gonna do much either way. All right, so we outspeed. This, does this kill at plus one? Yeah, it should always kill. I mean, does it not kill? I'm about to see damage. I, I hate when I like start running calcs like as everything's happening. If he's max HP, max spadef, plus spadef nature, this doesn't kill. Okay, so that's the that's the play clearly. Just explosion. All right. How much does this do? Dang it. That's a lot. Um, so I think I actually saved this thing. Or if he goes out into... 
Yeah, if he goes down to Weave out here, he just kind of gets the kill no matter what. Which I guess is fine. His Metagross just came here to blow up. Damn. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that even a little bit. I wish I would have clicked Moonlight. That would have been the God read. Clicking Moonlight. What can I switch this thing in on and heal up? Nitto Queen. So I guess I, I should save it if if he switches out into Weavile. I should attempt to switch out, but I'm assuming he has Pursuit. I mean, it would be my guess that he has Pursuit at least. That thing had to be. It had to be so defensive. Right? Because even if he's just like, all right, I'm kind of confused by this switch, but uh, let's let's let it ride. Let's go out into Silvali here. Or actually, let's go out into you. Let's go out into Incineroar. Uh, we have the Assault Vest. If he goes for, I don't know, like a Shadow Ball randomly, uh, that's fine. I mean, obviously the Fairy Attack is going to chunk here. It's not great. I am a little surprised he brought this. Hyper voice. Okay. This was like the easy read. I should have gone on to scissor here, probably. Alright, so he has no reason to switch out, right? Gardevoir, Mega. Uh so if I go out into my Diancie here. I take a lot, and we don't chunk for much. If I go out in a scissor here, the Hyper Voice does a reasonable amount. Okay, what if I go out in a Silvali here? The yeah, Hyper Voice does a lot there, too. Did I let Incineroar drop here? Is it good against the rest of his team? I'm like not likely to get a bullet punch or a drain. All right, yeah, I guess so. Let's just, uh, let's go for the read. I mean, it's not really a read. Let's just go for the U-turn and see if he makes a read. No, he just goes to the hyper voice. All right, smart play. So I'm gonna go out into my scissor. Um, and how much did that do to my Incineroar? Just to get an idea. That looks about right. If I go out into my scissor and Hmm. What about Heliolisk? We die to a Focus Blast. I just need to be sure that it's in range of Bullet Punch, really. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do here, which is maybe a little bad, is I'm gonna go out into my Heliolisk, and I'm just gonna click Glare first off. Is that correct? I think I just need the damage. So I'm gonna click Volt Switch here. I'm just click Volt Switch. I think it's the play. If he withdraws, it's if he goes out to Nido Queen, it's really smart. Should have clicked Glare, I think. I think I should have clicked Glare predicting a switch. I took a long time thinking about that play. I think we should have clicked Glare. It's, uh, I don't think my Incineroar... Yeah, he's going to go out to Nido Queen. Damn it. Should have clicked Glare. Always click Glare. How much does Surf do to this thing? Nido Queen. Uh, you're defensive. Wait, what? Why would Earth Power not Oko me? I don't, I don't get it. It says, this calc says Earth Power doesn't Oko, so I guess let's put that to the test and click Surf to get a clean 52% off on this thing. What is Brett? Oh, this thing? That's fine. I just stayed in and went for Surf. <laughs> this has to not be great for him. I'm gonna click um, Bolt Switch 
No, I'm gonna click Thunderbolt here. I don't want to get Will-O-Wisp uh, by the Gardevoir on my scissor, which is why I'm kind of like doing a weird dance right now. I need to see if it can ever live though. All right, so let's assume he's max HP. He has a chance to live. I should've just went for the double surf. Like his switches are kind of getting me here. Uh, I'm just gonna surf again. I should've went for the glare. I can't fathom living a, uh, I can't fathom living an earth power from this thing, but this calc is saying it's gonna do a maximum of like 90%. What do you know? That's brazy. This wasn't a two hit KO ever though, which is unfortunate. Um, how much do I need this thing around for the rest of his team? We don't outspeed the Tauros, we don't outspeed the Weavile. Metagross is gone, we outspeed the Gardevoir, but I don't do much damage. I'm just gonna go for the Surf here. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the Surf off. Let's get the Surf off. We have to be the Mega Gardevoir, but really Scissor is the Gardevoir check, I would imagine. Also, maybe we get a high roll here. Maybe it's like low roll into high roll. That would be nice, I suppose. Oof. Never lucky. I think it's okay. I think it's legitimately fine. Uh, he won't have rocks up for the entire game, which is nice. And we should be in a little bit of a better position. All right, so we know that my Silvalli outspeeds, so let's go into this, and then just click Ice Beam. We outspeed, we kill, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. We outspeed, we kill, and we'll figure out what to do from here. Because uh, we also take a hit from, I think, most things. Maybe, what's my HP at? I wanna say I'm at like 60 something percent. Interesting. So we're at 132 out of 202. So 65%, yeah, so we took a hit from anything. Um, I think I just tried it, I think I, think I just have to go for the damage here. Um, right? Cause I don't really have a switch into Hyper Voice, so I think we just go for the damage. That's, I think that's my play. All right, so let's go for the Ice Beam. Let's go for the Ice Beam. Oh, wow. Am I gonna get swept by this thing now? Cause this one, this doesn't break. Oh, wow, is he gonna call mine? So this should break 100% of the time. I think on this I have to go out in a scissor. Which sucks, but I think I have to. Oh, this is not good. I think we're gonna lose this one, boys. Cause he's just gonna go for Willow as pair. Which is why I or I guess he could also go for Hidden Power Fire. Let's scout. Damn it. What if he has HP fire? Pin power fire on my scissor. I was playing too too afraid of this thing earlier. Like too afraid that it would be bulky. Alright. I just like don't have anything to hit it with that'll break it sub guaranteed either. I guess we scout for the HP fire here. 
So we know sub hyper voice. And power fire. Okay. Alright, so I think I just have to let this thing go down. I'll go for the Thunderbolt. Damn. Alright, so my Deontay, it looks like, can break the sub some percent of the time with uh, Moonblast. Damn. So sub, Hyper Voice, Hidden Power Fire. <sighs> this should do over half, for sure. And then this should break the sub some amount of the time. If this doesn't break the sub, we just lose. Okay. Alright, so just go for it again. Go for it again. Oh, this is not good. Okay, do we maybe live this? On seven. This should do about 20 something percent, which will keep him out of range of putting up another substitute. Which means we're not just dead in the water. I think I just sat here. I think I have to. I think we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get a uh, three or four out here. So let's mega evolve bullet punch. Is a Tauros left? Can I take a flamethrower from a Tauros? Special attack set is garbage. Probably can't take a fire blast from a Taurus, is my guess. I'm gonna take one. I think we lose. I think we super lose. We lose because I didn't respect substitute here. I mean, also, mm, I don't know. All right, so I think I, I have to go for... All right, so... So he's gonna use Fire Blast. We should live one. So let me fight Sword Stance, and then if I'm at plus two, it just never kills is the problem here. All right. This sucks. This sucks a lot. Oh, I don't have any lines. I don't have any plays. I have zero plays here. I go for the knockoff. I have zero plays, like zero plays. Yeah, my only out here was like dodging this fire blast. Like that was my only out. Like I know we live one, but my legitimate only line here was to, oh, he's choice scarfed. I guess that's neat. So if I roost here, if he misses and I roost. No, all right. That's good game to Leo. That's good game. I shouldn't have knocked off the Choice Scarf because he might have actually been able to live one. Like a Fire Blast from this thing on Necrozma. No. Alright. Yeah, that's a good game. I feel really bad about this one. Uh, honestly. Because, like, it was within my reach for sure. Like, it was for sure within my reach. Uh, the team I brought was good, but, yeah, man. What are you going to do? All right. So, we lose to Leo 3-0. It's pretty bad for us. That puts our record down to 2-4.
which is bad. If you don't know, that's bad. Uh, I'm going to have a really hard time trying to make a playoff run with this record. I cannot lie to you. Um, oh. I don't know what I could have changed here. Like, I don't know what I could have changed in this matchup to make my odds better. I don't know. Um, really, I lost the game when I let the Gardevoir get behind the sub. I should have switched in. I should have switched into Scissor much sooner and just gone for the bullet punch and threatened it out. Uh, I was just so worried if it was bulky and lived one, he would will with me. Or HP fire me. Um, when in reality, I, I shouldn't have been trying to play that game. I don't know. I feel like I just made a bunch of garbage plays in this match. Like, I, I don't think letting Heliolus take an earth power was smart. Uh... I don't know. Just a lot of loose plays. Either way, if you enjoyed this battle, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what I did wrong, where I can get better for the next game. I'll even heart your comment if you tell me I'm awful. Um, also, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, please talk to me in the comment section, though, about just going over the team I brought. You can also give me suggestions. Um, if you don't know what I drafted, the second draft breakdown is a few videos back on my channel. So, you know, just go check it out. Uh, yeah, so I think that's I think is basically it, you know, just let me know what I did wrong How I could get better where I could improve um, Leave a comment follow me on Twitter. That would be lovely of you subscribe if you're new here because we're trying to be more consistent with uploading our content um, And yeah, uh, I think that's it subscribe if you're new leave a comment like the video follow me on Twitter I think That's all I got. I'm a little bummed about that one. Not gonna lie. I'm definitely going to watch this back and try and figure out where I made where I made the poor plays. Because there were definitely poor plays made. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Definitely go check out Leo's side of the battle. The link will be in the description down below. We're 2-4 and four now, which is awful. Really, really bad. I think we can make playoffs, uh, actually. Let me look at, like, the playoff roster right now. Um, so right now... Let me just look at standings. It's the top eight. Um, yeah, we can definitely make it. I have to win a pretty decent amount in a row, though. So, there's that. Thank you for watching. It's going to be all for me. My name is Evie Color. I'm kind of done here, and i got to leave. Love you. Bye. Go!